this video, I'm going to show you six bad reasons for not doing a 1031 exchange. And remember, a 1031 exchange is when you sell one property you hold for investment and buy another one with very specific timetables and rules. And because of this, you can defer lots of taxes, potentially forever. We can find all kinds of reasons not to do something, but it will cost you and it's important to find out what it will cost you before you make any decisions. One of the bad reasons is that you don't want tenants. Well, that's possibly a good reason in your mind, but it will cost you. And there are many exchange options where you don't have to have tenants or you don't have to have management. Another reason is you don't want more property. Okay, you don't have to have more property. There's other choices that are tax deferred exchanges that include mineral leases, oil leases, air rights, all kinds of things that don't involve physical properties and you should know what they are before you make a decision. Another reason is because you don't have any equity. This is one of the main reasons why people do a 1031 exchange because you don't want to be taxed on a situation where you don't have any money or any equity. So you want to exchange so that you defer your taxes in this situation. Another reason is you want cash. Well, good, don't we all want cash? Except that we want to maximize our cash. We don't want all of our cash diminished or taken away by our taxes. And so there are other ways to do this. Maybe you need to get another loan. Maybe you need to diversify your holdings. There are other alternatives where you can get cash, but then you're not taxed on the cash. Another reason for not doing an exchange is you don't want to consult with an accountant. Well, this is one of the worst reasons not to do one. And I understand it because you do all your taxes yourself. There's TurboTax, there's other alternatives, and you don't usually have an accountant. But we don't want any surprises where it costs you more to sell or do an exchange than you predicted. So your accountant can help you, and maybe you shouldn't do an exchange, and maybe you should, and we want to make sure that you have the best consulting that you possibly can get. Another bad reason why people don't do a 1031 exchange is because they truly don't understand the benefits and options. So it's up to you to learn those, especially if you're doing a lot yourself. And in these videos, I will help you to learn some of your options and we can study them one by one. Oh, if we haven't met, my name is Maxine Golden and I started the 1031 Exchange Lady because I believe that you deserve the same tax breaks as the big investors. And the law says you deserve it, but if you're not sure, ask your accountant or ask the IRS they will tell you the same thing. So, to keep informed on how to do your 1031 exchange, click on the subscribe button below, and I'll see you in the next video.